Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, ho, 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 welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe, and as always, every year, I got coal in my stocking once again, but it's okay, because it's always cold, it's always shivering right here on Sean's View Entertainment, and if that doesn't give you the shivers, well, I hope you gave Santa Claus his little milk and cookies, I hope you gave the reindeer their, car their carrots, and hopefully... You got exactly what you deserved and wanted for Christmas, and that's all the presents, that's all the gifts, that's all everything that you unwrapped from top to bottom, from pillar to post. Welcome to the very special Christmas edition of WWE News and Rumors Wrap-Up, the wrap-up report, all the news and rumors that came out late last night around 12 o'clock in the morning, which I was already sleeping because I knew fully well that Santa Claus wasn't going to come down my chimney and give me my presents because the guy always misses my house because I've always been a bad guy. Because I've got a, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Really, I got some good news for you. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, according to all the dirt sheets and all the websites, you can go subscribe to them right now. Go check out all these sites and go subscribe. It said that morale in WWE, which wasn't good before, has been noticeably different since Vince McMahon's live interview with Steve Austin several weeks back. The feeling is that Vince crapped on just about everyone in the locker room, except for Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Bray Wyatt. Imagine if all the other wrestlers left and it was only down to those guys. Boy, I'll tell you what. You'd have a hell of a show on your hands because those guys know what it's like to show you what the future is all about. There's also a feeling that Vince made it clear that uh, it made it clear those were the only ones that he sees as top star potential. And when you look at it, those are the only guys that have top star potential. Except the only thing Roman Reigns, we all know, has to work on is his mic skills. But I feel that will develop over time. Triple H actually gave a speech to the WWE roster about morale uh, being bad due to the interview. His speech was described as an attempt as damage control that actually ended up backfiring. As a general rule backstage, the talents in NXT love Triple H, but on the main roster, whatever he said in that speech lost him a lot of credibility, especially among those who have been with the company for some time. We could see a big walkout here, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the new year, I thought it was going to be good. I thought everything, the expectations were going to be at an all-time high. But maybe the WWE is going to face even more hard times in 2015. Maybe that uphill challenge is going to continue. I don't know. We're not going to have to see. There was a major injury angle that was supposed to transpire in the Divas division. AJ Lee is currently out of action with an injury. She has been working hurt so they could wrap up the feud with Divas champion Nikki Bella. Oh boy, working her. This seems like CM Punk all over again. Hey, just give her a few of those uh, those pills there. Just give her a few of those. What are those things? That big joke going around. Just give her a few of those. Whatever CM Punk was taking, and you'll be all set. WWE officials were planning on doing a significant a significant injury angle to write AJ off TV, but that was nixed for an unknown reason. AJ being away is why Naomi and Natalya were moved into contendership for Nikki's title. Original plans had Naomi challenging Nikki, but they. But they may go with Natalia. The belief within WWE is that AJ Lee will be back in 2015 sometime. So she's using this time to rest. She's using this time to spend with CM Punk. And you can't blame her for that because AJ Lee has been the constant in the Divas division for a very long time now. And uh, you know what? All these rumors about AJ Lee leaving... You know, it makes me look like a fool. It makes the dirt shits look like a fool. But you know what? That's the chance you take. You look like a fool sometimes. But that's okay because Sean Entertainment always looks like a fool. But you know what? It's my consistency, dedication that will bring me to that next tire. Randy Orton and Bad News Barrett are expected in in-ring action at the start of 2015. And you better well bet your damn last dollar or your last candy cane that when Randy Orton and Bad News Barrett return to in-ring action, business is going to pick up because that's that's what's been missing from the current WWE product. So, uh, you know, not much to report, not a lot, but what I did report was crucial. Uh, it, it's definitely developing. If there's any more news and rumors on this Christmas day, even though I'm going to be out for the majority of the day, I will do my very best 
to bring it to you when I return home. Once again, I hope everyone is going to have a great Christmas. You're going to spend it with your friends. You're going to family reminisce on the good times, the bad times, how you're going to overcome the odds of paying the bills for 2015. New Year's resolutions. I have a New Year's revolution, and that revolution is to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be just as hard as Santa Claus delivering to all the little children across the world. Night in and night out, I deliver. While Santa Claus delivers only once a year, I deliver every single damn day. So that's pretty much uh, the newest reports coming out of the newsletters, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, uh, you know, the websites, the dirt sheets, you know the drill. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this very Christmas, this very special Christmas edition of Sean's View Entertainment. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate on this day, this episode goes out to you. Without a shadow of a doubt, Drink that eggnog, drink that milk, get that protein in there, and we're all going to have a great celebration because we have a lot of things to be thankful and to celebrate for on this Christmas 2014. Subscribe.